Hey guys, Glitch here, and welcome to Who We Are Now. Ten years ago, the world ended in nuclear fire. Seas burned, smoldered, and then turned into hives for irradiated mutants. Bandit gangs stalked the wasteland our world had become, finding each other and killing innocents for what meager supplies were left. So, basically, Fallout. Those are just trying to survive. Uh, those just trying to survive hold together in small encampments for as long as possible, but the line was always the same. Keep moving. Keep your head down. Stay alive. Survival was an act of bravery. At some point, things changed. The bandit wars calmed as gangs destroyed each other. Life was a little bit easier. Then the thoughts came rushing in. When you could finally take a breath, you realized how utterly alone you were. For most of us, every person we had known was dead. Where do we go from here? Am I even the same person I was 10 years ago? I've wandered this place for years. I've stopped at this town called home a few times. Now, I've come back. I feel like I'm looking for something. I'm just not sure what yet. Oh, um, Mora. Wes, it has been a long time. It has been so long, my dear. Welcome back. Welcome back to home, Elder Mora. Thank you. What brings you back here after so long? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure myself. I need company, I suppose. Well, there's plenty of that to be found in home. Yeah, this place has really grown since I was I was here last. It has indeed, West. Our little Selma is flourishing. I'm glad. There needs to be some place that feels safe out here. Safe. Safety feels like a luxury, even now. But never mind that. We have an empty house that you can move into for as long as you plan on staying here. Which, I hope, is a good long while. As always, we ask that you help home like you were... Er, like... Or while you are here. I don't know why I keep messing up when I'm reading it. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you served as a guard while you were here last. You have a good memory, Mora, but I can't do that this time. Oh, why is that? I gave up fighting. Gave up? What do you mean? I did a lot of shit to survive, Mora. A lot of shit that I'd rather not talk about. And at some point, it broke me. I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't bring myself to kill someone else again, even if it meant I got hurt. I threw my gun away. I understand, Wes. We've all done things that keep us up at night. We all wish there was another way. But we shouldn't dwell on the past. Let's, instead, celebrate this. Celebrate? Home is a rare place where you can give up fighting. Celebrate the fact that you live here and not have to fight. So, is there some other way I can help? Of course there is, my dear. Forgive me for prying, but an old woman can't help it. You're hardly old, Mora. Forgive an aging woman, then, but I can't help them notice that you have... a burden. A burden? Yes, you are not alone, you know. There are many people here who are suffering, who aren't able to move on. You think I'm suffering? I think you're having difficulties, and maybe helping others with their difficulties will allow you to work through your own. So you want me to be a therapist? You certainly have a way of words, Wes. Heh, <laughs> sorry. What do you want me to do? There are four men I have in mind who live here. Two of them are out of town at the moment, but the other two you can meet whenever you'd like. Xander is one of the younger folks living here. He came to us a couple of years ago. He mostly keeps himself, poor thing. The end of the world had some odd side effects, as you know. Xander is the prod of this. What do you mean? I'm not sure how, whether it was radiation or something else, but Xander has changed. His body is electrified. What, like Electro? Electro? He was a comic book, but actually, never mind. Please continue. 
Unfortunately, due to Xander's powers and his somewhat short temper, people tend to avoid him. He tries to pretend like he doesn't care, but I can tell it's eating him up inside. I think he needs some company, somebody to talk to. Short temper, you said. He's still some of a child at heart, I'm afraid. He has a temper, but I think that's just a cover for his pain. He really is a good boy, he just needs someone else to help him see it. Well, I suppose I can see what I can do. Who's the other guy? Jess has lived here for a couple of years as well. He came to us close to death. He had been attacked by bandits. They left his arm shattered and his face scarred. With the medical supplies we had, we couldn't do much for him. In the end, his arm had to be amputated to save him. Jesus! That's terrible that someone would do that to him. He recovered? Yes, though, I do not think his mind has. He is a sullen man and largely keeps to himself. These days, I've been seeing him less and less. I think he's losing himself, Wes. He needs someone to step in and at the very least offer a shoulder to lean on. I'm not sure how much I can help, but... So, this is what I'm asking of you, Wes. Step in, try to help these men as much as you can. Does this seem a bit intrusive, barging into someone else's life? Well, yes, but I'm not sure what else to do. If you don't step in, I'm afraid they'll... They'll what? Leave. I worry tremendously whenever someone leaves, because often they do not return. Even when you left, as strong as you were. If Xander or Jess were to leave, it would be a march to their deaths. I'm sure of it. So please, will you help them? Uh, do you really think I can help, or of course, um, of course I will. Fantastic, thank you so much, Wes. You are doing a lot of good talk, a lot of good taking this on. Please, you should go meet them immediately. You mean, go to their house, just knock on the door? Yes, why not? Um, if you think so. Where should I go first? Uh... Hmm. I think we should meet Xander first. This is Xander's place. Well, here goes nothing. Knocking on the door and after a couple seconds, I can hear a voice from inside. Come in. Oh, uh, hi. You weren't who I was expecting. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm Wes. I'm new here. Wes, huh? I'm Xander. Nice to meet you. He doesn't respond. He's giving me a very thorough inspection with his eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, hi. I'm up here. <laughs> You're also down there. You. Nope. Okay. You know, sorry. I was just... Just... You're cute. That's all. He's not exactly coy, is he? Oh god. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot the description of this was actually a queer post-apocalyptic future. Yeah, I... I didn't think this was how it was going to go, but okay, this got a lot more interesting. Uh, thanks or same to you? Eh, same to you. Yeah, we both need to work on our flirt game, I think. Yeah, not exactly easy to get practice these days. So, cute boys don't usually just show up at my door. What brings you here? Oh, uh... I'm new in town, just meeting people. Right, let me guess. Mora sent you. What made you say that? She does this. The new guy moves in, she sends them around town. Trying to set people up, if you ask me. She just wants people to be happy. Happy? Huh, I wonder what that's even look what that even looks like. Yeah, I used to think happiness meant a stay job, creative outlet, and nice guy to come home to. <laughs> okay. That was a long time ago though. I don't think I even got that far. Happiness was going to be a part of my future, and my future was a way off ways off yet when everything went down. So how long have you been here in home? couple years now, I wandered the waste for a while until I finally came here. Mora took me in without a second thought. I gave her hell, but yeah, I guess she really does care about people. 
Yeah, she does. Wait, you're wandering by yourself? Well, yeah, I got into a couple of groups, but I never felt like I fit in. Eventually, I just left. Though I guess that hasn't changed since I moved in. What do you mean? I feel different from everyone else. Well, I guess I am different. Different? Didn't Mora tell you? Wait for it. Oh, you mean your power? I guess you call it that. It's never, it never feels like a power, but calling it a curse feels stupid. So yeah, I guess power works. How'd you get your power? Uh, I don't know, it just happened one day? Mora thinks it's a side effect of a radiation dose, but I didn't think that actually happened, you know? Yeah, weird shit has cropped up for sure, but nothing like that. Oh, so I'm weird shit- Oh! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. No, I know, sorry, I tend to fly off the handle when it comes to that. I understand, I'm sorry. Just, I'm the only person that got effed up like this, you know? Every goddamn person in the world and I get to be effing Sparky the Electric Boy. <laughs> Sparky? Shut up. Sorry. I understand what you mean, though. When I... This is gonna be a stupid example, but bear with me. When I first figured out I was gay, I could go online and talk to other gay guys and figure things out. Yes, exactly. I could talk to others and figure out how m my experience was different or the same. But with this, there isn't anyone to talk with. It's just you. Yeah, I can't even control it. You can't? No, it just comes and goes. I won't learn how to use it, but... But... But things have happened. Bad things. It's gotten out of hand before, and I... I don't want that to happen again. What if I helped you? Helped me? How? I don't know, I could be your teacher? I could train with you? If you had someone with you, then it won't be... It won't be as scary, right? You would do that for me? Why? Uh... <laughs> oh, I love this answer. I really love this answer. <laughs> Can't see a cute boy being sad. Oh, God, stop. But I really do appreciate it. Anything I can do anything I can do to help, Xander? Well, it was nice meeting you. I should probably head back to House More the House More's picked for me. Do something do some decorating, I guess. Well, don't let me stop you from you, the excitement. I'll uh, just walk you to the door. He's awfully close, all of a sudden. Oh god. Door's just your door is just over there. Xander leans over to me, his lips brush up against my cheek when suddenly... Oh! <laughs> okay, El literally electricity. Ow! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I'm so stupid. No, Xander, you're... Uh, you should go. Xander, just listen. Okay. Please. Okay. I'll come back tomorrow, I promise. Thank you. Well, guess I should introduce myself to Jess next. Yes, I should. Well, I've been knocking, but nobody is answering the door. It is unlocked, though, so I'll guess I'll just... Hello? Anyone home? Do you usually wander into strangers' home when nobody answers the door? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was intruding. Um, <laughs> oh my god, he's really hot. Really? Really? <laughs> You're in my house. How is that not intruding? Uh, right. I'm sorry? Well, uh, could you have possibly possessed you to do that? I guess I'm just used to the wasteland. If you knocked on a door and nobody answered and it was unlocked, it was fair game, you know? I guess instinct just took over for a second. For some reason, I'm going to believe you. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, can I help you? Right, I'm Wes. I'm new. Wes, nice to meet you. I'm Jess. Uh... 
should I say? No. I'm just trying to meet other people who live here. Well, like I said, I'm new and just trying to meet new people. You certainly have a way of breaking the ice. That's what they tell me. Mora didn't send you, did she? Mora, no, no, why'd you ask? She likes to send people to check up on me. But if you say she didn't... Well, whatever, I'm going to change. Um, make yourself at home. Okay, thanks. How long have you lived at home? A couple of years. And before that? Just wandered, same as everyone else, I suspect. You? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think I can say I've lived anywhere since... Since the world ended? Yes, since that. Selling down isn't the easiest thing to do, especially now. Yeah. Before all that, I never really stayed in one place. I traveled all over. For work, because I want to. I didn't want to be tied down. What did you do? I'd rather not say. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset. No, it's fine, just... It doesn't feel like it has been a decade, does it? No, it doesn't. And yet, so much has changed. The world, yes, but also... Just as I seem to glance at his arm, hidden under his coat. Oh. But isn't some change for the better? Oh, are you really going to come into my house and tell me that? No, actually, some change is good. I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. I... No, I know, I'm sorry. You obviously didn't mean... Well, sorry. It hasn't been a good day, or week, or month. Hey, you didn't exactly get a good deal. But I got a better deal than most. I'm alive. I'm sorry, I feel like I came in and set you right away. Yeah, don't be. I feel like I haven't talked to anyone in days, let alone have a real conversation. So I guess that... I guess what I'm trying to say is... Thanks. You're welcome, I think. Can I ask what happened? Yes, well, I'm someone who always took good care of my appearance. I was a model before. Oh. Okay. I worked out several times a week. I ate healthy meals. I was proud of my appearance. A couple years ago, I found myself wandering the wasteland alone. Bandits found me. They demanded I give them all I had. And obstinate asshole I am, I refused. They did terrible things to me. They told me they wanted to destroy my prey face. Jesus. God, that's awful. It, yes, next thing I knew, I woke up here with more watching over me. She told me I could stay as long as I needed. But you don't seem to trust her. It's not that, I just... Everyone here has a job, right? But I don't. I know why, but... You feel excluded. More than that, I feel useless, which just makes me more depressed. I'm sorry, Jess. It's fine. It's not Mora's fault. I know she has my best interest in mind. It's my own pride. Well, I think you have a lot to be proud of. Such as... You're still go <laughs> You're still gorgeous. Of course. Uh, well, uh... Did I really make you speechless just from that? <laughs> I guess you did, but... Well, it's a nice lie, isn't it? It's not... You're an old... You're an odd one, Wes. Is it everyone these days? Yes, I suppose so. I'm feeling tired now. I think I'm going to lie down. Okay, I'll let you be then. Thank you for talking to me. It's been a few days since I've had a real conversation. Jess? Hmm. Can I come back? I, I think I'd like that. Great, see you soon then. Yeah, see you soon. Guess I should report back to Mora. Yes, you should. Mora? Oh, Wes, you're back. Did you meet the boys? Yeah, I did. And what did you think? Uh... Ooh. Just seems like he has a lot going on. Xander feels like he's not being seen. I'm gonna go with this one. Xander feels like he's not being seen. Yes, I know. I told him he doesn't have to work. I I'm afraid of what might happen if he loses control of his powers. But consequently, now he isn't meeting others. I volunteered to help him with his powers. You did? 
Do you think that's a good idea? I can't just let him continue being afraid of himself, of what he might do on accident. Yes, I think you're right. And you, of all people, are suited to help him. Wait, why? You have a good heart, Wes. In a time when so many have closed themselves off to others, you dare to care about others. I'm not sure if that's right, but thank you. And Jess, what did you think of him? Jess seems like he has a lot going on. Hmm, indeed, he has been through a lot, more than some of us. And it has shaken him to his core. He has lost his sense of self, in a way. He seemed cold, but in the end, he warmed up to me. A little. That's good, see? I knew you could do this. It's not going to be easy, and I don't want to accidentally hurt him. You have a good heart, Wes. I know you can help him. I'll try my best. Well, I think that's enough for one day. The other two will be coming back to home soon. You can meet them then. For now, let me just show you to your house, and you can get some rest. Mora? Yes? When you talk about the others possibly leaving home, you seem scared, almost. Is that how you felt when I left? Wes, that's how I feel when anyone leaves. It's a cruel world out there. Even I can see that, surrounded by these walls. I don't have a conventional family anymore, so I treat everyone home as my family. Losing a family member, not sure if you'll ever see someone again when they step outside? That is devastating, every time. I see, I'm sorry. For leaving, I mean. Don't be, we all have things we need to do. I'm just glad you're back. You know, I think I'm happy to be back too. Who we are now. <laughs> that was an amazing demo. I will be looking into the actual game whenever it comes out. But that was actually really amazing. I like the, uh... Oh, it's not technically a point and click, but the visual novels, they're actually really amazing. But, I don't know, it's its a little weird with how the story played out, though I gotta say, I really loved how they, uh, how they played it out, because that was interesting. If you're interested in seeing the full game become reality, uh, I would, but the Kitstar is over, so, <laughs> yeah, it was a good demo, and I will enjoy the full game when it comes out. <laughs> When it comes out, I, I'll have to look into that. But for now, I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.